running backs deserve a lot of credit too. In our room, uh, we set a standard. You know, we're gonna set the game off. We're gonna go out. We're gonna hit people in the mouth. And we're gonna go out there and just compete. Last time I, I joked around and said we gotta pray. You guys ran with that, so I'm not gonna say that again. Um, what you do, you gotta pray. And that, ladies and gentlemen, sets up our championship weekend tape off. Let's bring the contestants into the octagon. First up, the man who appeared in six AFC championship games, won five of them, dang Peyton Manning in his 18 point comeback. <laughs> A man who ran the Boston Marathon in five hours, 26 minutes, and two seconds. And the man whose last name is a symbol of what both the losers and winners will need after the game, a brewski, Teddy Brewski, Definitely. is here. What's up, buddy? All right, brother. Also here, a man who appeared in three conference championship games and was a perfect 3 and 0. A man who's the only NFL player to ever come out of Robert Service High School in Anchorage, Alaska. A member of the Denver Broncos 50th anniversary team. And a guy who used to look like this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> what is this? It's a sabotage. Or as Ric Flair would say, Woo! That's getting you more look votes, at that. Look at the mullet right look there, the baby. You guys, you guys mullet's coming mullet. back. You guys might have to do a mullet off at some point, because Brewski's in college was strong right. as well. Okay, right. that's a separate discussion. <laughs> you guys know the rules. They tape off. You decide by voting on Twitter, at ESPN NFL. So, let's start. Uh, where are we going here? Who are we starting with? With me. Stick. With you. Stick. Okay, Stick, let's start with you. Yes, I knew that. I had trouble reading there for a second. Uh, what you saw about the NFC Championship game in the Week 8 matchup in Georgia between these two? All right, well, the Falcons have an absolutely prolific offense this season. One of the reasons, because they've been able to channel their inner spirit animal, the Falcon, for crying out loud. Falcons can be found nesting at high elevations atop mountains, towers, skyscrapers, and bridges. This is what's helping them, because you look at these mountains up front right here, you know what that does? It allows your quarterback to what? Get in his nest and throw the ball from a perfect position. Guess what? Go ahead and feed that baby bird right down there. Bam! Touchdown, Atlanta Falcons. Oh, it doesn't stop their people, right? As carnivores, a falcon has a diet based on rodents, amphibians, reptiles, and other birds. And let me tell you something, this offense, all 11 guys, they want to go hunt, especially this offensive line. Look at those falcons. Hey, look at those Green Bay Packers. Like, that's nothing but rodents, man. We're going to go out there, get after those guys. Look at all those blocks at the point of attack. Boom! Touchdown for Freeman. And then lastly, guess what, people? What, what, what? It's what? all about the offense. To catch food, falcons, sometimes they just hover, right? They yeah. just hover, and then you know what? They die swiftly to catch it in midair. So here we go. We're going to throw that bird out there. You know what that bird does? Oh, on top of the Green Bay Packers. What about us? Oh, that's a doo-doo bird right there. But go ahead. Falcon Animal Spirit. Catch the football right out of midair. That's how the Falcons have been getting it done, people. Let me tell you something right now. Channel that inner Falcon Spirit Animal. Atlanta Falcons offense. No, no. Well, I, uh, I don't know what oh, to man. say. We, oh. Another 